you want to take over to the to the running back side of things with this with this game? I think you get a little Marlon Mack in in space looking electric. Oh, as, he looks so good as always, and now he's on the shelf again. <sighs> There's that hammy. That hammy's back. He's just too electric for his hamstring. Yeah, too electric for his hamstring. Hey, uh, when that happens, the 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 Colts right now have an issue at running back. All this, you know, we we, we weren't sure who it was going to be, and now it's it seems to be a problem already. Obviously, Hines you were missing a couple of pieces on your off starting offensive line coming into this game, so that doesn't help you out. I think it was maybe the left guard was just getting dominated the entire time he was in there, um, or maybe the left tackle for Costanzo. I think that's who it was. Hog, maybe, maybe he, he was just getting absolutely murdered. Um, but you said the, the gun show comes in. Robert Turbin, those pipes were on full display. He did, he uh, did, fresh off some PEDs, looking strong. <laughs> right. <laughs> looking Certainly strong. didn't look bad, but you're not getting him for four games. Four games. He, he's out of here. Um, Hines didn't look particularly great. He didn't get a ton of carries, but he fumbled in a, on a punt return. Right. Um, he's just, not someone you're looking to right. take over a bunch of carries anyway. Didn't look absolutely looked look pedestrian at best out there in, in his first game. And then, you know, you're looking around like, who the hell else do they got? Christine Michael was out there getting carries. He getting got carries. some third run carries. Um, he was the third guy about in there. Jordan Wilkins? I mean, but well, Jordan this, Wilkins. This is where we're alluding to. I mean, Jordan right. Wilkins is, is kind of the odd man, the only in. man left standing. Right. Really, at this particular juncture, I think Mack will come back eventually and be, and be fine. But still, I don't believe he's your workhorse. I don't know what's going on with this backfield. Wilkins looked good Solid. when he was getting his yeah. run. I thought he looked very solid. Um, I don't. I don't. I think at that point in the game, when you're getting that run, you need to be looking head and shoulders above everybody else. If you think you're going to be like, it's going to be somebody you're going to be interested in, and in, in being able to when the all the good players are on the field. Now, obviously, you get the upgrade with your one offensive line, but I feel like when you're in that position, at that point in the game, it was he's pretty late in the game when he was getting his run. Yeah, True. but like you said, you got. Uh, but he need. I, I feel like when you're at that position, you need to look like you're head and shoulders above for me to be like, all right, I'm ready to give this guy some run with the first team and expect it. Like just expect him to be, you know, above average and be I able to do it. something to be willing to put him on my team. The odd man out thing makes me want to put him on my team now because he's probably stupid well, cheap. But. Got, well, the cheapness and the problems that you, everything you just mentioned with the Mac injury and the turban. Um, suspension and all that fun stuff the thing about it is is that nothing coming out of the colts camp has been bad about wilkins and it's not that it's just been not bad it's been really good everything coming out of indianapolis is that 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 wilkins is you know solid he's picking up on this he's doing what he's supposed to do he looks solid looks strong looks fast and i mean for wilkins in your dynasty leagues, if you're in a startup he's going to be super cheap because it's you know everybody's on the board but in your rookie draft what is he fourth round material you know like yeah. now, third round material he's like definitely he, if you haven't had rookie drafts yet he's definitely climbing yeah i mean i don't i don't think he looks head and sh he didn't look head and shoulders above everybody else but i thought he looked solid I, I i'm just saying like when you look solid against those guys when when it gets to being game time with the ones and all the ones like i just I, your blocking also improves you're probably right i know i said that but i mean i just i just don't I feel like you have to look electric at that point in the game for me to be like, okay, this guy deserves to be up here with these guys. Yeah. And I just, I didn't necessarily, like, it wasn't bad. It was, it was definitely above average. And maybe yeah. I could be completely Caught wrong. Caught his only pass. I for just don't, seven I don't, yards? I don't see him as being somebody that I'm excited to have on my team. I'm excited because he's the odd man out or the odd man in. Or All right. Well, D DLF rookie ADP has Wilkins at 40, but this is back from July because that was kind of the, they sure. stopped the rookie ADP stuff, so I'll look into uh, startup and figure out where he's at. But yeah, he he's still at this point. He's still got to be a value because people are going to hang on to Mac, and then you got the Nine Hines lovers, and then you got the people One. that are that are going to stay away from the backfield completely because of the running back by committee. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I he's, think that Wilkins is it's a great stab to have on your bench. He's one forty three in the ADP, right? Right up after Giovanni and before Ke Keelan Cole and Matt Breida and. Tyler Lockett, so it's actually that's actually that's not, higher than I yeah, thought it would that's, be. Yeah, you're putting him up there with the Tyler Lockett's and the Keelan Coles. Mm -hmm. People are already taking stabs on him, and I, that's that's good because it, it actually to have this conversation, it's it's disrespectful to our listeners if we really think that everybody else isn't already thinking about Jordan Wilkins anyway. Right. Sure. You know, so if you're going to sit here and say, oh well, he's a good stab, but he's down here at 280 in the ADP, it's just not going to be a, quick, a way it is. Just a quick 
reference to what I was saying. Like all those guys you just listed, they've looked electric at times and head and shoulders above everybody else. And you're taking shots on Keelan Cole down in that area. You're taking shots on Tyler Lockett Absolutely. down in that area. You're yeah. taking shots on Giovanni Bernard down in that area. Like Jordan Wilkins just hasn't. It's only one preseason game. I can understand that. And I like, again, I like the fact that he's the only guy standing. But I'm taking shots on those guys. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And so, well, let, let me back up for a second. Back it up. And just just to talk <laughs> about this running back group as a whole, and just we've talked about this once before, and uh, Frank Reich, me and the head coach over there, and seeing what the Eagles did last year and kind of just using this uh, running back by committee. You don't really know who it's necessarily going to be. We could, we'll talk about the Eagles at some point where I don't really know what they're going to do this year either, but that's not typically how that system has been run. Right. It's typically but been it a bell was cow a mixing true in with a by committee catcher, last year. For sure. And it seems like maybe he's kind of taken that approach a little bit over here and kind of doing the same thing. And then when you watch this game and start hearing the broadcast and hearing them break down everything about what's going on and how Andrew Luck has learned how maybe there is value in just taking that easy check down to the, the running back instead of trying to make every play for your team and be the superhuman guy. Take this easy check down to one of these elusive backs. Take this easy check down to Ebron. Take this easy check down to Doyle that schemed open and get you got your guy in the flat live to fight another ball, get the ball out of your hand and, and don't be a superhero here. So again, another just little bit of information to just keep in the back of your mind when you're talking about this backfield and, and maybe what they're trying to do is maybe it seems like they don't really have a plan to have a bell cow. They're going to use a rotation and it's, you know, the guys that you want are probably the guys who are better in the passing game. And Turbin is and solid. better in space. Turbin's solid in the passing game, especially pass protection. After four games, Listen, I can see Turbin him being a real if factor. If Turbin wasn't suspended, I'd be I'm, all in I'm on Turbin right in now. Turbin. Yeah, and Turbin's for probably sure. Turbin's the cheapest one out there for yeah. sure. 